The first dimension is that there is what, what is in the mother in the end comes into the psyche of the child just by copying it. We as human beings are perfect, perfect copy makers, yeah. unconsciously, mo almost most of the time. We, 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 what, what we see around us, we take it off unconsciously, unconsciously copy it, copy it us. And especially in, in the early stage of development, the child copies nearly everything that's around him. Because it's okay, it's, it's, it's a good strategy, yeah, because it is his world. And I have to learn about this world. My mother is my world. So I take her in. I take my mother in as my world because she is so important for me. So it's the best strategy is to take everything that's coming from my mother to take in, in me, within me. The, the, the child in this, in one way, is like somebody who is imprinted, <coughs> imprinted by the mother's psyche. And step by step, the child is more active and develops more strategies to deal with the mother, to interact with the mother. And in the end, also the child tries to support the mother. That's the other side of this symbiotic process. That children are looking, how is my mother? Is she well? Is she fine? Does she need anything from me? Then I, and I try to give her. And have <laughs> some clients, they say to me, oh, I think, Already during pregnancy, I saw my, my mother suffering, and I tried to support her yeah, some, in some way. Yeah, so we can say that this uh, bond, this symbiotic bond, and this symbiotic love, as we can call it also, this symbiotic love between child towards the mother is one of the most powerful emotional forces we have in our psychic system. It's something that is, uh, well, you, you can't deny it. It's always there. But first of all, as you see, that this love, the love from the child towards the mother, is always there.